So uh, we decided to open up Dita Boys in the south end of Winnipeg because we actually grew up in the inner city and spent a lot of time in the central part of Winnipeg and progressively moved further and further south and had realized that there was a lower ratio of Philippine restaurants and Philippine locally owned businesses um, closer to the outskirts of the south end of the city. And when you look at a community that has one of the highest ratios of Philippine people, not only in the province, but in Canada, and one of, the, one of the oldest Philippine communities in the country as well, we need to see representation in all corners of the city. And um, we actually have a very growing population of Philippine people in the surrounding neighborhoods as well. When you look at some of the data, the Philippine population is actually one of the second largest ethnocultural groups in the surrounding neighborhoods um, where we're located in the Southland Shopping Center. So um, there is no shortage of our, we call them Kababayan or fellow country people in this part of town, but uh, we do want to make sure that people get to experience what Philippine cuisine and culture is all about. So that was the purpose behind why we decided to open up in this end of town. But um, what is really interesting about Filipino food, and this is true for a lot of ethnic cuisine, is that the country is not just one blanket type of dish or type of food, rather. Um, you're going to see like as much diversity within that one country as you see in terms of diversity of restaurants in a city like Winnipeg. So I think it's really important to celebrate all of the different cuisine that represents the diaspora of the Philippines, both in the country and outside of it. What we aim to create here at Dita Boys is a safe space for both non-Philippine folks as well as our Kababayan, our fellow country people from any area of the Philippines, whether you're a newcomer or you are second, third generation who's grown up here your entire life. Um, we want to meet people where they're at and we want to make sure that we do decrease those barriers to ensure that people feel comfortable asking questions about what kind of food we are serving at our dinner table, or maybe there are opportunities to reminisce on dishes that they grew eating up, or perhaps they are getting introduced to some new variations of familiar dishes that um, they are accustomed to, and whether it's their region or their family had made growing up. So um, we think it's just really important to celebrate the diversity of our Philippine community here. We have such an incredible community, a huge population of Philippine people that are celebrated in the center of the country. Um, we really are kind of the epicenter for Philippine culture, cuisine, and traditions. And um, Winnipeg has an opportunity to really really be the flag bearer in a lot of ways to showcase to the rest of the country and the rest of the world that we are proud to be Pinoy's, Pinay's, Philippinex people and that we are a culture that has incredibly high quality, tasty, amazing cuisine that should be celebrated alongside many other Asian cuisines and ethnic cuisines that uh, have already gained prominence in, in the country. So uh, Philippine cuisine, if you haven't had it before, it's something that you should definitely try out. There are many, many Philippine restaurants in the city. We're very lucky to have the diversity that we do here in Winnipeg. So make sure you try some out during the festival. <laughs>